Oh, shut up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the garage. Today, I'm gonna to show you, tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to get into the engineering mode of your VE Commodore or Pontiac G8. Last couple of videos, you would have seen me go into a different screen in the trip computer to get the information on the temperature the car was sitting at. And to do that, you go in engineering mode. And it works for both the three window, three window trip computers you get at Calais, and the Bellina and all the HSVs, as well as the single ones you get on all the lower models. I've got no idea what's in the G8s, but I'm pretty sure it's just a single one. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is this. The first thing I would do is put your seatbelt on, because whenever you turn the ignition on in these things, you get that beep, and that really pisses me off. All you need to do is press the enter button, which is pressing the left-hand scroll button in, and turn on to your accessories. And there we are. You don't need to have the car on to do this. You can just have the accessories on. This is it here. This is your engineering mode. And this is the screen you'll get to see. So you've got your software version, GM part number, your battery voltage, which is really handy. I've used it a couple of times when trying to work out whether my alternator has been charging or not. And twice, it's been very helpful when I've changed my alternator. Twice. Thank you. Your remaining fuel, I think I'm a bit low, down to 12 litres. Instantaneous fuel, same as your normal trip computer function, that one. Your coolant temp in degrees, so remember on your Commodores, and I'm pretty sure on your G8s as well, uh, the thermostat on the V8s opens at about 90 degrees. Your thermo fans will turn on at 104 and off at 99. Your high-speed fans will come on at 108 and cool until they're required. Uh, that's also helpful to work out if things like your water pump stuffed. Then you've got another a digital speedo, which you can see in a normal trip computer anyway. Uh, digital taco, which I don't really know how useful that is. Your tyre pressure. This is a Calais. It doesn't have tyre pressure monitoring, but I know the, the higher level HSVs and the Caprices had TPS. And I'm pretty sure the Pontiacs did as well. Uh, your engine oil life. I'll show you in an upcoming video how to reset this. Park lamps on or off. Switch voltage. Current gear. Your throttle position, so it starts at 20%, but if you flatten it, you can sort of see where it is, which is pretty cool. Transump temperature, just in case you're doing any drag racing or towing. And your self-test. Now, your self-test is just the all lights on. You do that by pressing the same enter button or the scroll button on the left-hand side, and this is what it looks like. There you go. That's it. I'm going to show you another trick, which is whilst I've got the dash on, is like a night mode on these things. All you need to do is push and hold these two buttons, which is the dimmer, and it'll basically kill all of the lights and all the gauges apart from your speedo. So this works. Maybe if I start the car and sh shut the door, you'll notice that nothing else is on inside the car. So that's designed to keep it pretty dark, keep your eyes focused on the road, especially in the outback where it's dark as buggery. We'll show you again whilst everything's lit up. There you go. Pretty cool. So there you go. There's a quick vid on how to get to engineering mode. Hope you like that. I know it's been a while since we've done anything with this thing, but I've got a couple of things in the works and hopefully the weather's gonna be nice enough that we can take it out. So stay tuned. See you later everyone, cheers.